Governor Jay Nixon and members of his emergency management team took to the air to assess flooding along the Mississippi River. The survey began near the Missouri-Iowa border, and there was ample evidence to support the National Weather Service's major flood forecast. The surging Mississippi is threatening river communities, flooding houses, roads and bridges are surrounded or even swallowed up, barge traffic stalled. This is an emergency that we hope will not become a disaster. The governor reassured Clarksville Mayor Joanne Smiley that the state would continue to provide vital support. In Clarksville, the flood water has pushed its way into the downtown area, but it's being held back by a winding temporary flood wall. The forecast is for near record flooding here. We're here as usual uh, to provide support to the locals. The day before, Governor Nixon mobilized the Missouri National Guard as part of a state emergency declaration. More than 50 guardsmen are assisting the sandbagging effort to reinforce and raise the height of the gravel flood wall. Dozens of Missouri Department of Corrections offenders are also part of the effort. But our primary focus here is to make sure that, that we win the flood fight in Clarksville. That's why we're here. Because the levee burst up, upstream. Oh, the governor inspected the flood wall for weak spots and seepage. Clarksville held back floodwaters during the Great Flood of 1993, but each flood can pose new challenges. An army of volunteers is helping too, including 11 members of Boy Scout Troop 754 from St. Charles, along with faith-based and volunteer groups, all coordinated by AmeriCorps. The work is not done. The water is continuing to rise, uh, but it's our full hope and expectation that these walls will hold. Absolutely. Well, thank you for coming. Absolutely. If we can withstand that, uh, that high water mark here, our full expectation is that the city of Clarksville will be open uh, for business once this water recedes.